Well, this is just a short video to let you guys know I haven't forgot about you. I haven't done a lot of work on the Buick uh, in the last couple of months just because I've been working on other things. Um, I've had it in storage at my sister's house. I've been driving the 26 Model T and working on that a lot. Although I haven't really had to do much to it. I've just been driving it and enjoying it. In fact, i got to use it to haul a rototiller here in a little bit. Um, and I picked up a motorcycle. So I had one for a while, but I picked up a Ducati and I've been putting a lot of work into that and put about 2,000 miles on that. But the reason I'm posting is because I brought the Buick home today to start tinkering on it again. But wouldn't you know, the valve cover gasket let go. Um, it was one I had made and I think I cut it a little too short. So I had to pop the valve cover off and clean it up. It's all cleaned up, ready for me to put the new gasket material on pretty clean. I think it'll stick. Uh, and I'll do a video on this gasket material I use. It's something unique. I get scraps of it from work. Um, it's a high temperature, almost like a Gore-Tex type product. Uh, really interesting stuff. One problem I ran into when anybody who's worked on these motors knows about is these studs, which hold the valve cover on. And two of them had broke over the years, and there was a whole, my earlier video, I, I think I showed a chain that was over the valve cover at one time to hold the valve cover on because these studs had broken. Well, I removed the old studs and put in some threaded rod for now until I can get my hands on the right ones. Um, but there's little jam nuts down here. If I get in there, you can see it. Nah, it's hard to see, but this is a jam nut at the base. Well, funny thing, through you know warming and cooling of the motor, this jam nut had come loose. So when I went to back this nut off, the whole stud came out. And anybody who's worked on these knows when that happens, <laughs> it's, that's a direct line right into the cooling jacket. So coolant shoots out like a little geyser. I knew it was going to happen. There was nothing I could do. I had to spin the whole stud out. So I stuck my finger in it like the little Dutch boy. It got burned because the motor was hot and was able to thread this back in. But I did get some coolant down in the oil pan. So now I got to do an oil change, which is just as well. It's due anyway. Um, I wanted to do one after about a thousand miles uh, just to make sure there wasn't any junk floating around the motor. So it gives me an excuse to do that. That'll be tomorrow's project. Later today I'll gasket this up and get it back on and hopefully tomorrow I'll do that oil change and then take it for a test drive. Um, after sitting for about two months, it started right up fine, had to put a little gas down the carburetor. Uh, one small problem I did run into, which I haven't had on this car, but I have had on others, is from sitting the clutch stuck to the flywheel. So when you put the clutch pedal in, it wouldn't disengage. And to get it to disengage, I had to use that old technique where you put the clutch in, put the car in gear with the ignition off, start the car, and as it takes off, kind of rev the motor up, and it breaks free. And it did, but uh, it's the first time it's done that. And even after sitting for, you know, the 10 years, 15 years it hadn't run, it didn't do that. So that's kind of strange. Um, I'll have to keep an eye on that for next time. Um, but that's it. I just want to let you guys know I haven't forgot about this. Uh, hopefully we'll be seeing more Buick videos here coming up soon. I got some brake issues I got to withdraw, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, address because they're a little sketchy in the front. Um, and what else? Well, I still don't want to do the interior. I got to come up with some seats and some carpet that doesn't look like it came out of a Home Depot. So I hope you guys are doing well and we'll see you all very soon.